Russia is returning bodies of fallen defenders to Ukraine with missing internal organs. This may indicate that they are being used in Russia for transplantation. Ukraine form writes citing words from relatives of the dead. The wife of one of the prisoners of war, defenders of the Mariupol garrison, stated that when the bodies of Ukrainian prisoners of war are returned from Russia, they show not only signs of torture. Some of the bodies are returned without internal organs. She said this during a meeting with the ambassador of Ukraine to Turkey, Vasil Bodnar. Today, it is already known for sure that we receive bodies of those tortured from captivity. We receive not only tortured bodies, but bodies that unfortunately are without organs. That is, this confirms the fact that the black market for organ transplantation in the Russian Federation is working. And unfortunately, it is working with our prisoners of war. Therefore, I believe that we need to talk about this to the whole world in order to stop this crime, said the wife of one of the defenders of Mariupol. The wife of a prisoner of war appealed to Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan with a request to support the creation of a mixed medical commission which would monitor the health of both Ukrainian and Russian prisoners of war. I would also like to ask Turkey to act as a patron country in resolving all humanitarian issues related to the exchange of prisoners of war, the woman emphasized. She noted that Russia refuses to return and include prisoners of war from the Mariupol garrison on the lists of exchange. This is a real pain that motivates us to work faster and stimulate our international partners to take certain actions. One of the main demands is to create an international medical commission that would investigate the conditions of our prisoners of war and help them fight health problems. And this is one of the messages that was conveyed to the Turkish side. Ukrainian ambassador to Turkey Vasil Bodnar stated. Three Russian Shahid drones attacking Ukraine have crossed the Romanian border, the Ukrainian armed forces have reported. The commander of the Ukrainian armed forces air forces, Nikolai Olshchuk said 25 attack UAVs were shot down over Ukraine on the night leading to July 25th. Some 38 drones attacked Izmailsky district in Ukraine's Odessa region over the night, the Ukrainian air forces reported. The location of three more Shahid drones could not be identified after crossing the state border with Romania, Olshchuk said. Romanian media showed the aftermath of a drone crash, but it is unclear whether this is the result of yesterday's attack or the attack that took place the day earlier. On Wednesday, an air alert sounded on the Romanian territory bordering Ukraine due to a UAV attack. It should be noted that two people were injured as a result of debris falling on a private house in Odessa. Over 25,000 people have been forced to evacuate amid wildfires in Canada's Jasper National Park in Canada, officials said on Tuesday. In a statement issued on Tuesday, the park said the town of Jasper and Jasper National Park in Alberta have closed and are being evacuated due to active wildfires. The evacuation impacts 15,000 people who were visiting and staying in the park when the order was issued, as well as about 10,000 people in the town of Jasper. The municipality of Jasper and Jasper National Park said in an updated emergency alert Tuesday morning the evacuation from the town site and the park is progressing well and people should continue to follow directives as the majority of traffic is being directed west on Highway 16. The wildfires causing evacuations are spread out throughout the eastern half of the province, including in the Caribou, Kamloops, Southeast and Prince George Fire Centers. Several of them have caused partial highway closures. Situated in the province of Alberta and about 370 kilometers west of the provincial capital city of Edmonton, Jasper National Park is popular among tourists and known for its campgrounds and extensive trail networks. In recent weeks, Alberta has been baking under scorching temperatures, forcing another 7,500 people out in a string of remote communities.